Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and this video is a description of Category 6 Computer Cable. And as you can see, it says right there, uh, Cat 6. Um, there's different categories. Um, category 3 is for 10 base T. It's a, really an old network uh, standard. Most people use that for voice these days. Um, Cat 5E and Cat 6 is popular uh, today in the year 2010. Uh, for computer cabling. Now you can also use it for voice. Most people use it for computer cabling. Uh, voice will run over just about anything. Uh, uh, computer networks need a higher category cable. And we're going to look at the category, but first let's look at the uh, uh, the writing on there. It says it's verified UL tested category 6 and uh, it also gives you the the footage uh, of how many feet are left in the box. So in this case it's meters. So um, this is what the, she, uh, the, the casing on the outside will be printed and it's printed about every foot or so. So when you're looking into a ceiling of a, an installation that's already taken place you can easily tell whether it's CAT 5E, CAT 6, or CAT 3. And they stand for categories, different categories. The higher the category the more data that can be transmitted over uh, that particular cable. Um, let's look at the other end. I already stripped it off. Um, I already stripped the cable away, the, the shielding. And they all have four pairs. All computer cables have four pairs. And uh, it's blue is the first pair, orange is the second, green, and then brown. And this is a little uh, you find these in Category 6 cables. It's a separator to keep separation between the cables within the, the sheath. You can cut it off. There's nothing to it. Uh, but blue, orange, green, brown. And notice they all have white um, because that's the first uh, group color is white. Um, and since you're only using four pairs, uh, they're all going to have their second wire as a white wire. So it's blue, orange, green, brown. And uh, notice they're twisted, so um, you see the phrase UTP, uh, unshielded twisted pairs. It's talking about this. There's no shielding here. The, it all has is a plastic coating. You really don't need shielding unless you're in a high uh, static area. A lot of, um, you know, you're next to a radio station or you got a lot of electrical motors you're running the cable near, things like that. Rarely, hardly ever use uh, shielding. A lot of... Uh, uh, maybe um, uh, uh, transmissions of some sort, radio transmissions or whatever. Um, I'm also going to take, take the Category 5 cable that I have already split, and I'm going to show you uh, the difference in uh, the twists of a Category 5 compared to Category 3. I'm sorry, compared to Category 6. This is 6, and this is 5. Um, Notice the difference in the twists. A lot more twists in Category 6. And the reason why is the more twists you have in the cable, the higher speed you can pass data and the higher frequency that can be on that cable. So there is the, the two cables. Um, they're both um, orange cables, believe it or not. They don't look that way in the uh, camera, but they are orange. And um, it's orange-white and orange-white. Category 5 is this is category 5 and this is category 6. Um, you can always use a higher category for a lower requirement. So I can take either of these cables and use them for voice, uh, traditional voice, traditional analog. Of course, voice over IP um, uh, telephones uh, just use standard computer cables. And so either of these would support voice over IP. The normal category for voice is category 3. It's very inexpensive. Um, but you know at this point, uh, year 2010, uh, category 5E is not that much more uh, expensive than, than CAT 3. And uh, our company, CableSupply.com, really only carries it uh, this year, or right now as we do the video, uh, CAT 5E and CAT 6. Um, we don't even inventory CAT 3 anymore. Um, when you're putting in a CAT6 installation, of course, what you want to do is you want to make sure that that CAT6 installation also has a CAT6 patch panel. It's properly terminated and also has a CAT6 jack 
if you have the test equipment you can verify it that that's what it is and that it will support CAT6 um, data um, but if you use all the uh, parts that are certified for CAT6 there should be no problem and it should certify easily uh, please visit our website we have many many other products on there for people who are doing computer voice and data cabling and IT installations um, our parent company has been in business for well over 20 years and have cabled uh, thousands and thousands of locations all throughout the U.S., including data centers and, and businesses uh, for voice and data cabling. Um, so we've taken our experience and um, we put it into uh, cablesupply.com. At the same time, we don't sell anything on cablesupply.com that we don't install uh, for our customers and so these may be inexpensive parts, but they're not cheap. And you may be able to find cheaper stuff on the Internet, but nothing of our quality at that price. Uh, we do keep our prices low so we can keep our volume high, and uh, uh, our volume prices to us, therefore, are lower. So we can run our uh, cabling uh, business at a lower uh, cost and a higher profit. So that's... Uh, and we do have, I think I mentioned already, we have many other videos that you can uh, watch that will show you how to punch down cables on uh, Cat5e fi uh, Cat jacks, Cat6 jacks, patch panels, how to bundle them, how to get the cable down the wall, everything that we use in our business every single day, including the tools and, and the techniques uh, to do that. So I don't want to take up any more of your time. Thank you for watching our video today. And again, my name is Jim with CableSupply.com.